Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground oatmeal mm -hmm. hey guys so it is now Sunday about 1230 and I made a bowl of oatmeal I do have a little bit of granola on top I found a bag of the safe and fair blueberry cinnamon granola that had like maybe a fourth left so I dumped some on top which I kind of miss granola on my oatmeal so I might get some at the store later today it just adds a little crunch a little sweetness it just makes it really yummy. So I might add some granola back in. But so far today, I haven't done much. I got a video uploaded, kind of hung out with the pups this morning, had an easy morning, got some cleaning done. I just showered and washed my hair so it is air drying. And I'm just now eating oatmeal. I definitely think, I think I talked about it in the video that just went up today, so the vlog prior to this one that the apple cider vinegar that I take every morning is starting to affect my appetite um which I know people use it for that reason that's not why I did it originally but I guess if it helps aid a little bit of weight loss that's cool too but I took that at like 9 30 this morning and then I had a banana around like maybe an hour later at 10 30 and it's now 12 30 and I just now got actually hungry for food so having a bowl of oatmeal and then a little bit later I do need to go to the grocery store normally on Sundays I like rush in the morning and get up and ready and rush off to the store really quick before it gets crowded but today I just felt like taking it easy so I will go later today and just have to deal with the crowds I guess and then do some meal prep hopefully I think I'm gonna make corn chowder for lunch this coming week and maybe some broccoli like no cheese soup both high carpana recipes of course and so if that happens i will of course show you guys but i didn't really finish vlogging yesterday um kind of had a lazy day yesterday i finished some editing for the video that i went up today and then did some laundry and that was about it i 
just kind of snuggled with the pups, read, and then once I turned Disney Plus on, like, it was, like, game over. So, I had a lazy day yesterday, so today I'm trying to be a little more productive. So, yeah, I'm going to eat my oatmeal, and then I need to film my Plan With Me video. I was going to film a, another sit-down video. I've been trying to film a book haul for, uh, like, two weeks now. I filmed it once, and my camera is so messed up um it seems to be okay when i'm like moving around but when i try to do a sit down video where the camera is not moving at all it just keeps auto focusing like over and over and over again so i can't really do a sit down video because when i went into editing it's just like so annoying like i wouldn't want to watch a video of that happening so i don't know what i'm gonna do i guess i need a new camera so <laughs> I don't know when that will be, so I don't know the next time I'll be able to do a sit-down video. I might try doing it on my phone. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to eat, and then I will check in later, probably show you guys my grocery haul, and then whatever I eat the rest of the day. So on Sunday night, I made the broccoli no cheese soup. So here's an overview of the ingredients. And I will, of course, have the recipe linked down below for you guys if you're interested in making it. But it's really simple. It literally takes like 20, 30 minutes to make. So yeah, it's really delicious. I alter it just a little bit to, you know, my liking, but you basically boil your potatoes for a little bit with some seasoning, and then you're going to add in your broccoli. You can use fresh or frozen, whatever you have on hand, and you wait until the broccoli is fork tender. Then you're going to add in your nutritional yeast. This gives it that nice cheesy flavor. The recipe calls for half a cup. I use a whole cup because I really want it to taste nice and cheesy like a traditional broccoli cheese soup and then once that's all mixed in you will use an immersion blender or if you have like a nice big blender like a Vitamix or something you can add it in there but the immersion blender is really easy and you just blend it up you can do it as thick or thin or creamy or as chunky as you want it. I like mine as you'll see um, after I'm done. I like it a little chunkier and really thick and it tastes delicious over brown rice. Hey guys, good morning. So it is now Tuesday about 8.30. I need to leave in about 10 minutes for work, but I wanted to say hi to you guys. The past couple days have been a little rough. If you watched the previous vlog, I mentioned a cold that was trying to fester. Well, it kind of hit me Sunday night. So Sunday night, didn't sleep well at all. And then all day yesterday, I just did not feel good at all. I was exhausted. My ears, throat, my body hurt, like, I just did not feel good at all. I feel a little better today. I still have some of my decongestant that was prescribed to me at the, well, I have the one from November and December, and the one um, that I got in November is a little purple pill, and I took it last night because it makes me a little foggy and sleepy, and it helped me sleep really well, so I feel a lot better this morning, but still just not quite 100%, a little foggy. I just took another one too. And also just took my Ningxia red packet from Young Living. I usually mix this with apple cider vinegar, but I didn't take the apple cider vinegar yesterday or today just because my stomach's been a little uneasy. So I'm just taking this by itself for a couple days and then I will jump back into the ACV when I feel a little bit better. So I'm going to jump back in filming for you guys the rest of this week with my food and everything and just kind of pick up where I left off from Sunday. I filmed my oatmeal yesterday thinking I would be okay but I didn't even eat lunch and then when I got home from work I literally just like wrapped up in a blanket and laid on the couch and watched the Great British Baking Show on Netflix so 
didn't really do much there and then I went to bed early and slept really well woke up at 6 and I do feel so much better today so I'm going to just guzzle a ton of water today take my vitamins I'll probably do another Ningxia packet tonight when I get home from work and just keep going so I will check in later with my breakfast and hope y'all are having an amazing day So it is almost six o'clock. I am home from work and it looks like there is some Spanish rice made and peeps are gonna have taco night. So what I think I'm gonna do with the rice is make like a taco salad. The rice isn't like the healthiest option in the world. It's like pre-seasoned and you know, sodium, maybe a little oil, I don't know. But I'm going to jazz it up and you know, take like one unhealthy ingredient and just add a bunch of healthy stuff to it because you don't have to deprive yourself of stuff you love. I love that Spanish rice and yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to add beans. I don't have any black beans, so I'm just gonna use these white beans. I think I'm gonna make some corn. We have lettuce. I'm gonna use salsa and avocado and just kind of make a little taco salad. So I will show you guys that when it's all made. And here is how it turned out. It was seriously so delicious. I have the rice on the bottom, then lettuce, corn, beans, salsa, and avocado, and it was seriously so delicious. I didn't think I'd be able to finish it, but I did, and it was so good. Hey guys, so it is now Thursday night, just about six o'clock, just got home from work and fed the pups. And I think I'm going to import the footage that I have from the week and see what I can come up with and hopefully have it uploaded tomorrow morning. And yeah, I feel like this week was just a very weird week. There was a lot of stuff um, affecting like the people around me. So not like directly affecting me, but kind of because I don't know, my co one of my coworkers just had like a really rough week. Her mom is actually still in the hospital and then her husband was in the hospital earlier this week and it's just been a little weird. I don't know how to explain it. I have a hard time when like people are upset, like differentiating their emotions and my emotions. That probably sounds so weird, but um, yeah, I like tend to take on other people's emotions and it kind of wears me down. So. Anyways, I'm definitely feeling better than I did at the beginning of this week, which is good. So whatever cold, flu, whatever that was, um, I hopefully knocked it out. But y'all didn't miss anything um, all this week. So Monday through Thursday, I ate the exact same thing for breakfast and lunch, which was my oatmeal. And then I had my broccoli no cheese soup with, the, with brown rice. And then... Um, Last night and Tuesday night I had taco salad. Tonight I was gonna make tofu scramble, but I don't have any more avocados. I really need to go to the grocery store tomorrow or Saturday morning for sure, but I made it a week without having to go to the grocery store, which is kind of cool, but I'm definitely running low on some stuff, so I think I'm just going to make a bowl of rice and just start editing this video. But hopefully whatever I came up with with the little bit of footage I have is um, a good one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely going to try to come up with some different ideas for this series for you guys. Next week I really want to focus on um, a morning routine so I might focus on that versus just showing my food every day because as y'all can tell or have seen I eat the same things like every single day. I'm a very boring eater but it's how I stay on track. So yeah, let me know what you guys think or if y'all have any requests of stuff y'all want me to show in these videos. Um, just let me know if y'all want more of like lifestyle, more of the puppy dogs, more cooking. Like just let me know what you guys like and I will try to do better next week. I definitely feel like a little bit of a failure this week. But yeah, I am going to make some rice 
get cozy and just start editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification button because my upload schedule is very random this month, especially with my jacked up camera and I can't do sit down videos. That kind of bummed me out this week too, not gonna lie. But hopefully I will have a new camera soon and I can get back to more regular content. But hope you guys are having an awesome week and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.